What's up guys, the Lost One Gaming here and welcome to Automobile Tycoon, an early access alpha game um, where you get to make your own cars and you start your own car company. It's um, from my understanding pretty much similar to Gear City that came out a couple years ago, just not as detailed yet I guess or not as intricate. Uh, thus far I've kind of been, well let me get into the game first before I do all this. Um, I guess I can talk and do this at the same time. I want to do level 7 difficulty um, since I don't want to go all the way. So, yeah. Um, it's 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 got a ways to go, I'll say. It's Like I said, it's not as detailed as maybe Gear City. Um, but the reviews thus far have not been too great. There hasn't been that many of them. But, I mean... Like I said, I, I sort of somewhat enjoyed it. I played it a little bit, and um, I went bankrupt the first time. So this is uh, pretty much a harbinger, or whatever, it, how do you, however you say that word, to probably what's going to happen in this series. Um, let me see, what color do I want to be? Blue, yellowish, green, that looks like puke. I don't know what the freak that is. Uh, let's do... God, there's... Okay, I'll, do, I'll do red. I'll do red. Um... So, company home region. We can start in Europe, North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Australia. I'm just going to start North American. We'll do that because I live in North America. So, yeah. Uh, so, apparently, also, you can't you can't remove that last letter else it resets. So, that's why I'm M Lost Motors rather than just Lost Motors. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. So, let's get this started, shall we? 1905. Great. Cars are going to be crap. All right, this is my office. Early alpha, unfinished graphics, limited playability. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So let's see, right now I believe we, if I'm not mistaken from the last time I played, we currently have a couple cars on the market already. Um, we have the Kajam, the, what the frick are these names? And the Metalla. So we have a Phaeton, a Sedan, and a Limousine. Last time I did this, we had a truck rather than a limousine. Um, but I think I want to actually... Let me see. Let me go to my factory real quick. Uh, do we want to... We're already producing too much of this, and we already have too many, too much of this in the warehouse. So I'm, I'm not... I'm going to cancel production. I don't really want to use any of these because um, they're very early. Actually, the quality isn't that bad. Huh. Well, maybe I will actually use these, um, just to get myself started, I guess. Uh, let's, let's see. Let me go back to, frick, now I gotta do this again. Why is it doing it this way now? Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't wanna, mm, we already have too many of the Kajam, right? Which one, ah, frick, I'm already getting confused. Kajam, Kajam, why do we have two of these? Hold on. Uh, let's do that to the Marope, I'm sorry, and then we'll do this to the Matala, which we have too many of those in the warehouse as it is, but, you know, whatever. I guess we're starting out with good cars at the at the start. Uh, I'm going to upgrade our machines. Maximum manufacturing difficulty in the factory is level 50, or 50 right now. Uh, I'm going to do it that way, okay, do that. <clears throat> 990,000. Let me head back over to my office and in the turn. All right. All right. So we made like fifty thousand that quarter, which wasn't a lot, but <clears throat> doing the best that we can. I could head over into other markets right now, but I think maybe we should try and establish ourselves more so in the in our North American sector here before we move to other places because I still haven't really done what I need to do here uh, let's see let me go back to my warehouse okay so we're still selling we're doing alright let me look at let me go back to a detailed look at the reports real quick <clears throat> so we sold 40 units 40 limousines let me see uh, let me let me not look at our cars let me look at everybody's all cars what's the best-selling car Best-selling car is the Eagle. Eagle was a real brand, wasn't it? Like a real car brand, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pretty sure they were. Or like a model or something. Can't remember. Anyway, 
So, how come they've had cars since 1902, and it's 1905? Excuse you? Fam, where did you come from? Alright. I gotta ramp up some production then, okay? The reason why my cars aren't the best-selling cars is because we don't produce enough of them. That is the problem, okay? So we're gonna ramp up production a little bit to 80 units. I'm gonna start small for now and see where this takes me. All right, quarter three. We're into quarter four. We didn't make that much money. <laughs> oh boy, this is already looking bad. I don't know. Should I just cut production now? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so current cars, we, we have a chassis, the engine, E-Loss Motor C, D, ta 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 Reliability 35, comfort. Let me design a new engine. That's what I want to do right now. Let's say six cylinder, eight cylinders, technology standard, advanced, cutting edge, futuristic technology. Actually, that's about as much as I can do now because of the fact that uh, my manufacturing difficulty has to be a... Hold on. Big, medium, big, medium, big. Should I do big? That means the engine size would be F. Okay. Hmm. Small? What? What is this? Okay, this is affecting the power. I mean, cars now aren't that freaking big, so I mean... Does, does it really matter? Let's see, materials. Materials reduces the weight. Reduces the weight and increases reliability slightly. Okay. Superior. The best of the best in terms of our brand new engine that we're gonna do. So that would mean that we could do a medium now. Power. Small, hmm. $10 more, let's do that. Uh, development budget. We'll give it, hmm, should I do more time or more money? Confused. Uh, let's see. Let's increase our fuel economy right now. That's what we're focusing on. And then I'll do very high budget, and then we'll put some more into reliability as well. All right, fuel economy 37. What do I want to call this one? I'm going to call this one the Ferrari. <laughs> it's not really that fast, but you know, it's the Ferrari version 1. I can't type with this. I have to type. I couldn't use my number pad. Um, I had to go to the top of the keyboard. That's nice. Um, Alright, so I think that's what we're going to do. This is going to be $109,000. Yeah. Let's, let's add an extra point in there for fuel economy. So this is going to take 8 quarters. Oh boy. Not looking forward to this, actually. Um, <laughs> I, we're probably going to be bankrupt by the time this is done. 16000 Yeah, we're already losing money. So, mm, let's see. We have too many of these. The limousines are not... Mm, let's cut that down. Let's cut this down as well. No one's really buying those. So, can I just... Can I just cancel all together? Would it, like, cut my... Would it cut my production entirely? Negative 477, 88,000. Thank you, we're finally freaking selling cars. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, let's do... Let me just cut it down to the minimum, I guess. Maybe, because I don't think we really need to produce that much now. We're not really selling too much anyway, as it is. So, let me go back into the list of best sellers, I guess. Reports, all cars... There's a demand one in here. I never saw that before. Does it really work? <clears throat> Let's see. Demand analysis. North America demand 0 0.60. Total cars sold last turn 723. Total market value last turn 685,000. Maybe we should try and get to Europe. Total market value is a lot better in Europe. Uh, not really. I mean, I guess things are a little bit more expensive over there, apparently. Um, production. Hmm. What should I do? Oh yeah, my marketing isn't really there. Um, my marketing budget is not implemented yet. Great. Great. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, let's see. Our cars. Should I reduce the price on these cars to try and get it to try and uh, marketing? Let's do, let's do average. Or no, let's do high marketing on all of our cars. 
see if that helps us sell a little bit more. I don't know whether that's really going to do anything. I'm hoping that it will. Let's see. All right, in the turn, we had a million dollars, million eighty-four. Oh God, that made things worse. <laughs> that made things worse. Ah, manufacturing thirty-eight thousand, administration one thousand four hundred, car sales forty-eight thousand. Oh boy, this is not going well already. Our cars, twenty-nine of those in storage. Uh, what's going on here? What is going on? Let's cut production there. Uh, let's produce some more limousines then, I guess. We'll switch it up. 9,000, 45,000. Okay. Alright, let's go back to producing those again now that we've got those out of our warehouse and we can afford to do something. It's now 1907, actually. Uh, that engine should be done, shouldn't it? No, two more turns. Never mind. Uh, this is size E engine. I want to do another chassis as well. See what I can do here. Times are changing, okay? And every couple years I need to be doing new cars and new technology. Uh, I'm going to call this the Chappie. Because this is what I called it last time when I actually played this. I keep forgetting I can't use my number pad. Um, Let's see. I'm going to make this a big one with, of course, the cutting edge technology which reduces our weight and everything. Materials also would reduce the weight a little bit. <clears throat> Standard space, plus one. Max engine size would be D. That engine that we built was an E, right? Yeah, I think it was. All right, so suspension and blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, this is already too difficult. Frick, I gotta do our, I gotta upgrade this again. Our factory, our machines. Uh, this will... Can I just do this already? There we go. That's nice. Alright, ma maximum manufacturer difficulty is 72. Alright, let's get back to this now, because I can do this. I can do this now. Alright, so... I'm going to make it very big. Very big. This is going to be one freaking heavy behind car. Okay? It's going to be heavy. It's going to be big, but it's going to be beautiful. Okay, I promise you. It's going to be beautiful. Standard... We'll do plus one. Uh, quality reduces the weight to 599. Superior, 533. Reduce a little bit more. Cutting edge, futuristic. It's going to cost me a lot to produce this, though. Um, development time, focus points. Manufacturing reduces. Manufacturing difficulty decreases production costs. Hmm. Should I do cost? Decrease production costs. Reduce it by $9. Reliability. Definitely need some reliability in this frame or in this chassis because it sucks right now. Um, suspension. That increases drivability and the comfort. Alright, gears. And we'll do... we do brakes. I guess that's all we can do now. <clears throat> Anything else would throw me over the cliff. Is that really worth it? The plus two there. Should I give maybe more budget? And I'll do... There we go, now I can do that. <clears throat> now we're good. Development budget high, 58,000, four quarters. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Alright, let's get it. The Chappie version 2. I mean, Chappie version 1, I'm sorry. Version 2 never... Version 1 never came out, so I can't be a version 2. Okay. 58,000 for this chassis. Chappie version 1. Under development, four turns. The Ferrari V1. God, this is an expensive freaking engine, man. For power. We're already going for power, alright? This is what we're going for. Everybody else has their little cheap, crappy little engines. We're going to make sure that our stuff is quality, and that it can last, and that it's it's fast, okay? It's going to be good. It may not actually be the Ferrari, but it's faster than probably everything that's out there on the market right now. Technologies. I don't really know. This is it says it's not implemented, so I don't really know what this does. So I'm gonna just leave it there. I'm I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't papers. Oh, okay, that's not implemented yet either. Just making sure we don't have any cars uh in the warehouse. Uh, let me let me go back to our office real quick. Over here, check out the reports. Our cars, 40, 40, 40. All cars. 
Eagle Viterra Coupe 1906. Oh, this is getting better. The quality of these cars are good. Hmm. I don't remember this being so hard last time. Although this company is like kind of producing crap right now. What the frick is this? 178 quality? Why are the car why are some of the cars some of the car companies are getting worse, okay? Some of them are getting worse, some of them are getting better. Should I ramp up production again and see how that goes? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's let's try it. Workers? Not implemented yet, okay. That's nice. Let's keep our sedan going. Feel like maybe we can make an impact with the sedans. Limousines, probably not as much. Uh, let's end the turn. Our Ferrari should be done now. Let's see, the Ferrari, that's done, right? The Ferrari V1 is done. The chassis, we've got one more turn till that gets done. And then we can design another car. I'm going to use those together to make myself a new car. All right, there we go. Let's see, what I want to do. We don't have a pickup truck. I mean, this is 1908. Should we do a pickup truck? I mean, let's see. What's on the market right now? I got to do this, okay? Uh, there's a couple pickup trucks on the market. 1898, Jesus. Um, it's old, but we don't currently have a pickup truck on the market, so it might be wise for me to... Or let me go, let me see. What's the... Coupes are kind of like the smallest market there thus far. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a coupe. Let's let's start out with a coupe. We can do a limousine later because that chassis is freaking huge. We can just use the same one over and over. It doesn't matter. Um, all right, let's design a coupe. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to call this one... I don't know. Uh, call this the Phantom. Call this the Phantom. Not Phantom version 1, but... Uh, <laughs> Call it the Phantom. All right, engine. I'm gonna use the Ferrari V1 engine uh, with the Chappie V1 chassis. This car, 59 safety, 109 reliability, 86 fuel economy, 14. Why is it in kilometers now? The last time I did this, it was in miles per hour. For some reason, it's in kilometers now. I'm American. We don't use kilometers. <laughs> we don't use those things. We don't know what those are. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a higher development budget. Uh, should we should increase drivability? Uh, should I put all my points in drivability, or should I try and do something else? Maybe. Hmm. I'll do development time long. That'll give me another point. I can put a point into comfort. That would do point plus five, or safety plus five as well. Let's do safety. We want to be known as a safe company. Okay that produces great cars. Actually, I'll do very high. Hopefully this doesn't bankrupt me in the long run. But uh there we go. Drivability 63, 65, 64, 109, 86. The aesthetics are kind of bad for this car. Uh 269, Jesus. No. Let's not do that. I'm going to take a point off of comfort and put it into aesthetics. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. $119,000. But this is going to take in eight quarters. All right. All right, let's see how this goes. In turn. Did I end it? I don't know if it went. All right, 44,000, 31,000 profit. 31,000 again. So you're at 1908 now. <clears throat> Eventually, it tells you that your cars are outdated and you need to get them off the market. But I mean, come on, there's a car from like 1894. How is that not outdated already? All right, let's cancel this because we don't need to produce those anymore we're running we're, we're not produ we're we have too many in the warehouse cut down production this is what i didn't do last time i feel like when i played all right it's the year 1909 our chassis is already like what four years old it's crazy when you think about that all right this will be four let me see cost 671 hmm all right whatever Whatever. We're at 22,000 now. Jesus. It's gonna go bad real quick. I'm gonna go south. Alright, let's 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 start back producing again. We can do this. We can do this. We'll be fine. In turn, 22,000 went up to 29,000. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, let me see. Uh, 
cars two more turns left until the phantom comes on the market it's now the year 1910 great <clears throat> now the phantom is available so now that the phantom is available I think I'm going to get rid of I don't have to get rid of anything but I feel like I should keep just three running for right now rather than trying to do like 15 different ones so quality 513 this is the best car on the market okay no ifs ands or buts about it best car on the market all right I don't have to I don't have to have facts I already know it okay look at this 513 look at this piece of crap car the 168 look at this one 357 no my car is 513 it might be the most expensive thing on the market but hey okay actually I'm gonna take the price down that way I can compete with everybody okay there and no I'm gonna keep it in America for right now I do high marketing I don't know if marketing really does anything I don't think it does but we'll see all right let's do this the first quarter of actually selling the Phantom 26,000 to now 44,000 how many Phantoms did we sell <laughs> how many did we sell it's now the best-selling coupe on the market look at that look at that best-selling coupe on the market one of the cheapest coupes on the market as well even though you get way more than all these other cars look at this look at this fuel economy 23 look at that how, how crap is that okay look at this the drivability 21 look at that my car is amazing okay I am cutting edge here I am freaking Henry Ford of this game I'm just kidding I'm not <laughs> I'm not in any way shape or form Henry Ford in this game I'm gonna ramp up protection a little bit more okay maybe I shouldn't have done that yeah we have too many in the warehouse now let's uh let's not do that I wonder if I if I do like uh, if I do another sales office would that help me or maybe I should I actually I'm gonna go into Europe now let's do that all right I'm going into Europe and I'm gonna start selling this in Europe the people in Europe they need this okay they need this I think they need this all right so let me do our cars phantom start selling to Europe now <clears throat> and we'll go from there I think I might design another car as well what should I do we did a we did a coupe we should do another sedan it's gonna be the exact same freaking car with the Ferrari V1 <laughs> Maybe I should do like different engines and stuff for my cars because every car can't be the same, you know ah. <laughs> A sedan with like sports car coupe capabilities that wouldn't that doesn't seem right top speed a hundred and hundred and fifty eight kilometers an hour That's interesting. I don't even know how that translates to miles So I might be excited over some I mean for freaking 1910. That's freaking crazy to be honest uh, let's see interiors advanced that increased the aesthetics okay extras advanced all right this car is gonna cost a buttload of money aerodynamics that would decrease the cargo but increase the top speed by one that's not worth it plus it decreases aesthetics no no thank you uh, put points in drivability <clears throat> and let's give it a higher development budget very high uh, let's put some points into another point in drivability and let's put another point into uh, should we do comfort or safety this is a safe sedan okay I might as well call this the freaking Toyota Camry of cars all right <laughs> um, I'm gonna call this the Polaris I don't know why but bringing back some of those uh, interstellar transport company names four quarters and hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars I'm ready I'm ready for this wait it just switched to miles per hour what the frick I just noticed that 98 <laughs> 98 miles per hour in 1910 okay we're creating sports cars of the day okay sports cars this is why my engines are so expensive because we can go fast all right let's do this four turns what is the like the fastest car on the market though like other than our car like let's see do we even have sports cars yeah there's a Holox that just came out this year quality of 167 the top speed on this car is a 36 and our freaking sedan can go 90 miles an hour they're probably big and clunky but still 
But I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.